What's going on, guys? Welcome to the first analysis of 2023. So I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year. I uh, just wanted to shoot a quick breakdown, guys, as it is Sunday and we are getting back on the ball next week. Um, just in regards to updates with the Discord, still building out the Discord, still waiting for the other robot to be finalised. So until that is, uh, the offers are still going to be there and running for anybody you know that hasn't joined up yet. Um, the new service, guys, will include everyone's going to um, be able to access one robot, one license with the with the standard signals membership, and you know those signals are going to come with um, you know the set files of the prop firms, FTMO, my forex funds, etc., etc. And uh, you're also going to get a signal service, and you're going to get my brand new um, trade management. Uh, tool as well, which is basically a support and resistant trader, but it's a semi-automatic tool. So you set it up yourself. Our instruction videos are in there, and uh, then the the tool will take trades for you, manage them, move stop loss to break even, take partials, etc., etc. So with that tool, guys, you can literally set it up on a on a Sunday when market opens, before market opens, and, uh, and then just leave it and look at your profits on the following Friday. So yes, awesome, awesome stuff on the way, guys. Super excited. Hopefully by mid January, um, everything will be sorted. And uh, yes, I'm super excited for that. So let's jump right in, guys. I've left some of the analysis on from last week for you guys that follow the analysis videos. So remember, we had the head and shoulders on CAD JPY that we was trading. We ended up here as well. Unfortunately, on our analysis, uh, with the price action being the volume last week um, in this area, especially, you know, we had our usual entry. Um, the usual entry confirmations would give us, you know, the the moves to follow the trend like this. Um, but unfortunately, price, you know, had a couple of basically 80, 90 percent retracements, you know, two or three times after the confirmation, like the general confirmation, um, which ended up in us getting to TP1. We got stopped at our break even and I got TP1 and, you know, then price fell. But here's what it is. You know, we stick to the rules. We don't try bend them. We don't change price action. Um, but just to show you guys, look, the head and shoulders we measured out last week. Look at it. Beautiful. And um, it's almost at TP4. So from taking it up here, I mean, it was confirmed there. Look, we got in. Um, it's like 200 uh, pips in. <clears throat> so super, super nice trade there. Um, in regards to, to GJ, I mean, look, we've got a, a nice entry on GJ here, look, on the, um, was it the last day? Yeah, it was the last day, wasn't it, before before Christmas there. That was very nice. And as you can see on the daily, um, we've closed um, below here now. So I'm expecting a pullback uh, somewhere to one of these zones here. So because we've closed below here, I'm expecting maybe a push down and then a push up. And then I'm going to wait for structure to form. So whether structure forms here or, you know, back at this res uh, resistance level here, um, we'll just have to wait and see. But on the four hour, I'll be looking at, um, you know, previous candles. So we've got this high here, um, you know, this resistance zone here. So we've got this zone and there's a S and D zone here as well. So this zone we could be looking at, you know, for a pullback. Oh, not like that. Sorry. This zone we could be looking at, you know, for, for price to come into. And wherever we get structure, then we'll be looking to take it back down to previous lows. So that's what I'm looking for there. So again, we're just looking for a pullback in sales. Um, continuations on GJ. As you see, look, it's 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 trending down on the daily. So look here to the left, what happened before. And um, when it's brought this uh, before, it's come down to here, come down to here, come down to here. So, you know, this will be our end target here. Um, hopefully we can maybe get in a swing and, uh, you know, catch the full move there from the lower time frame and, you know, stack some positions in. That would be nice. Um, and again, just to add on, actually, guys, the live trading's come in as well when I get the Discord set up because I've got a, a way that I want to run it with the way that the, the group's set up. There's going to be like a live customer service running all day and uh, there's going to be like a calendar and um, different lives for different sessions. So I'm going to have my time blocked out to be on the Zoom for you know a few hours every day you know relative to the calendar for customer service like interactive customer service and um you know the the risk management tool and uh, just jumping on for the sessions and just in between there as well it's gonna be super super engaging group guys it's gonna be awesome uh, but again we could get a pullback all the way to this resistance i doubt it i doubt it's gonna uh, um it looks like it's gonna come to these weeks here and then you know potentially come down here however you know it could break up price could break up but it's highly probable that it's gonna pull back here and continue down just like it did here. Um, US 30. Um, let's have a look at this. This is the first time I've been on these charts as well since before uh, Christmas. I thought I'd leave the markups on. I won't clean them up. I'll just come on the video 
and drop some analysis so you can see what's going on. Like um, US 30, look, we're still in the range here. Um, so nothing really going on. If you remember the Friday analysis, I said that I was looking for here. This is what I was looking for. You know, for price to wick that low of the day there, come up and then, you know, head to the highs. Because normally when price is in the range, like you see, it goes up, down, up, down, basically like this. Um, and that's what I was expecting here. When the price starts tightening, we're getting closer to the breakout. And as you see here, I was expecting it to go here and then back down, uh, um, here, then back down, sorry, to start closing this, this gap up here. But it decided to come down to that resistance instead. Um, I didn't catch that by because after the GJ one, we hit GJ, we ended the, what do you call it? We ended Christmas on a good trade. No need to, you know, carry on trading, trading. You'd get off the computer, relax, and you know, prep for for the uh, the next year. So on this guy, as I say, we're just trading inside this range. So super, super easy looking trade here. Um, I'm going to wait for a pullback, um, and then we're going to trade up here. So this is going to be a, a supply zone, sorry, a demand zone, a supply turning into demand that I'm going to look to take buys from here on US 30. You can see here, look, previous price action on this side and this side, and here, look, wicks down. So you know, this has been a strong. S and D zone before, resistance zone, support zone. So I'm looking to take this back to the top of here. And uh, once we get here, we'll look for, you know, to catch the breakout, if we get structure, if we get a fake out, then we look to sell back down. Um, gold guys, and again, I will mark up all these properly. Um, again, in the groups, I just wanted to go over the previous analysis so you can see what I'm looking at from before. Um, so if you guys that watched the previous videos, it's like a follow on video, you know. Gold again, it's just looking shit. Look, we didn't get the breakout here. I was thinking if we get a breakout, it's either going to break here or buy here. Because uh, on the four hour, it was still uh, looking in structure. Yeah, we got some failed highs, look. So it was more probable that it was going to go down <clears throat> because the highs failed. We got that big wick there, taking all the liquidity out. So, you know, a push through there would have been a, would have been a nice move. However, price, you know, started going up there. Wasn't the best, you know, doesn't look like there was any decent entries, you know, from here, just kind of like ranging but trending price action. Consolidation here, um, we could have maybe caught a little breakout there. Uh, but again, <clears throat> I mean, just looking at it from here, <clears throat> where are we going? You see, look, it's just up like this, it's like ranging. There's no real space in between. So, I mean, we could be going to fill this week here, so we might get a push up. To this zone and then you know if we get some strong rejection here we'll sell down you know to this trend line it's just going to be a little bit messy it looks like um for for opening up on you know the new year so as i say we'll probably get a push up here looks that's that's broke structure now that's confirmed uh break and retest to go to the top however when it opens it might gap up to there so but again if it closes on the top of here that could turn into a you know resistance and uh, it could could keep going up so but this is our zone here i'm going to wait for price to get to this zone and then you know decide what to do from there gbp usd um again it's looking nice i mean it's still consolidating though we have got um broker structure here broker structure so anyway, it's looking bullish actually i haven't looked at the dollar <clears throat> let's go on the weekly have a look on the weekly see where we're at structure wise i mean the weekly is you know bullish here break structure Tiny pullback here, lower volume, lower volume candles, sorry, than the buys. Um, <clears throat> let's go back on the four hour and just have a look. I mean, the four hour is bearish. Look, uh, we've got a push down here, breaker structure. Let's just put that in there. Breaker structure, and now we're trading inside this zone here. So, for us to look to take anything, ideally, um, longer term anyway, we need to see a break of this zone. Um, but if we're looking at the overall move here, you know, we've got this zone here, we've got strong resistance here. So, you know, we might see a, a fake out up here and then a, maybe a, a continuation down, you know, to follow this. It'll make like a head and shoulders then, you see. So this, this, and the head, shoulders here, and it'll go down. And then neckline break here. So, but yeah, that's it, guys. It's all looking out. I want to drop you a quick video. Um, so enjoy the rest of your, your New Year's Day. And uh, I'm going to get a bath now and chill out and get ready for next week. I've been on this... Like VR headset here. Um, I'm seeing how I can incorporate this in regards to meetings and like interactive workshops and stuff like that, you know, with trading and business. But fuck me, it gives you a headache or a really bad headache from, you know, playing games on there. Motion sickness. It's really, really bad. I don't know if you've been on them, but man, they're insane. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace out. See you next week.